Well, welcome to my channel. I'm back. It's your girl Taisha with Boutique Extensions. Just showing you guys my stocking cap method. I know everyone does this, so I won't go into explaining the stocking cap method, but this is how I get my melt. Now let's get into this wig. So I am going to go ahead and start with my boho liquid um, gold. I do like to use that on the edge of the cap just to go ahead and secure it and make it nice and smooth. Then I did go ahead and apply the alcohol to go ahead and clean it up, the access around my client's skin. And of course, you know, the boho skin protector is a must when you're using any type of adhesive. So yes, I did go ahead and put about three layers on that, which was off camera. Also, you guys can see I went ahead and applied the makeup that matches my client's skin tone. And then let's get into this Almighty Blonde Adhesive. Almighty Blonde Adhesive is the bomb. When I say I started using this adhesive about three months ago, my clients love it. I love it. When I say each client has got a four to six week, a four to six week hold, the glue is the bomb. You just apply one layer, wait for it to go ahead and um, dry clearly, and then apply your second layer. Let that dry clearly. I do apply up to three to four layers just because I know my clients sweat a lot or they like to go swimming. 24 hours and your clients can go ahead and take a dip in the pool with this adhesive. It's the bomb. I live by it. So if you don't have your almighty bond, I'm telling you, go try it. Listen, it's the bomb. Four layers and you ready. Let's get into this install. So yes, this is a 13 by 4 lace front wig that I am installing for my client. As you guys can see, the adhesive has turned clear, so we're getting ready to go ahead and apply and position the wig. I do have my clients go ahead and hold um, the wig in the middle as I do go ahead and position. Um, I did already go ahead and get the wig sewn down in the back as my client will be keeping this on, so I did do that off camera. And just continue to watch the pro the project the process. Excuse me, I cannot talk. Continue to watch this process as we go ahead and slay this install. As you guys can see, after I did go ahead and apply it, I did take my blow dryer and I did go ahead and go in a medium warm so that it can go ahead and lock in. And then I went back on cool just because I feel like the cool air gives it that extra lock. And once you go ahead and do that, I went ahead and applied um, Boutique Extension, our famous, famous lace melt bands around. And I leave that on my client head for about 10 to 20 minutes um, while they're under the dryer. And again, we're getting into this air stall. Right now, you're going to see me go ahead and start, you know, forming my part um, just because my client wanted a side part. So I'm just using Boutique Extensions Wax Stick. And we're going to go ahead and lay down that baby hairs and get that part formed in place, baby. Yes, yes, yes. Continue to watch this slay. And again, you know, we slaying my way. And y'all know, of course, after you go ahead and apply your wax stick, go ahead and take your hot comb and smooth that baby all the way down. The hot comb is a must, baby. It's just apply that just extra layer and bring in that natural parts. Yes, yes, yes. Continue to watch me style and slay, baby. And again, we're doing what? We slaying my way. So the lace band has been on my client for about 10 to 15 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and remove that. As you guys can see, the melt is already in progress. So we're going to go ahead and get the lace cut off. And please take your time when you're cutting the lace because when I say you just do not want to mess up, you just do not want to mess up. I also learned a little trick from watching Slay by Jordan. He's the bomb. Go watch some of his videos. He got some great tips. Um, but as you're cutting your lace, if you just take a little bit of your hairs and you just fold those down and then cut in between, it kind of makes your lace look a little bit more natural so it's just not a straight cut. And, you know, continue to cut at the edge. Don't continue to cut straight across. But take your time as you continue to cut your lace and just continue to slay it your way. And again, because I'm slaying my way, continue to watch. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, comment, like, let me know what you want to see more from your girl because I'm back and you guys will be seeing a lot more of Taisha in these installs.
Now I'm just getting ready to go ahead and part it um, where I want my baby hairs to go ahead and be. Um, you guys, you don't really need that much here. If you do end up taking too much here for the edges, just go ahead and pluck in between. Also, what I am showing you guys is our famous um, lace foam mount. The lace foam is an awesome product. It's from Boutique Extension, which is my, my hairline. Um, if you guys have not tried it, check it out. It's also great for the glueless installs. When I mean I apply this lace foam, it also has a little bit of adhesive in there. It gives you the ultimate melt. So anytime your clients want just, you know, a glueless install, the lace foam is perfect for that. Also perfect to slay your baby hairs. As you can see, they laying down with no problems. And I'm going to go ahead and continue to slay these baby hairs. I'm going to go ahead and put the plastic wrap on my client and put her back underneath the dryer and just continue to watch. If you have not hit the subscribe button, please hit the subscribe button. Hit a like, hit a comment. Tell me what you want to see more from your girl because I will be doing a lot more installs, a lot more videos. And again, Thank you for watching. This is Taisha with Boutique Extension. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the subscribe. Hit that subscribe button right now. Now the baby hears this sleigh, so we're going to go ahead and put the black tape on, put the client underneath the dryer for about 10, 20 minutes. And as you guys can see, once you remove it, look at that melt and that sleigh. Those baby hairs are in place. And of course, you can go ahead and comb them out so you can have some nice, soft baby hairs. And that is the ending process, this result. But Whoa. I continue to slay it my way, and you continue to slay your way. I appreciate you guys for watching. I appreciate for the likes, the subscribe. If you haven't hit the like button, hit the like button. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, hit that subscribe button. Tell me what you want to see more from me. Tell me what I can do better. You can go ahead and drop me some tips because I'm always open for it. And again, let's go ahead and slay it. How we slaying it? My way, your way. And you know, before I finish this install, I'm going to go ahead and cut some little straight cut blunt bob into my client's wig. And then she's on her way. I'm going to go ahead and apply some shine spray. But ladies, get into this install. Get into this melt process. Just look at here. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. Do you see that? Thank you for watching.